Hello guys, in this video we will learn about how to pass data between tabs in a browser using JavaScript. So as you can see right here, we are having like 10 rows in our table and here we are having one page and with a click button and in this page let me show you what we are having. Basically, I am having three files on the root folder. Here you can see page one, page two, and one test.js file. And this test.js file is having a port written in it. And it is using the broadcast channel in method of JavaScript for sending the message from one tab to another. So as you can see in the channel, we are posting the message like like these are the message like tag ID company contact and these are the static data which we are sending okay then right here in this event page 2 you can see we are having the function my function okay and we do not need this paragraph tag we do not this so we are having we, we have called basically the js 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 page here we have included the reference of this js file and we are calling the method which is defined in this file you can see here okay so whenever the button click event event occurs then this function will be called and the written method you can see here the broadcast channel with the name foo will be executed okay and this broadcast channel will have this complete object inside it okay? and when we click on the button then here in this table this method will be called you can see it it is in the document already method okay so here you can see we are also again creating the same channel here and we have created here right but right here we are receiving the message now as you can see channel dot on message and the, we are passing on parameter e and inside e we are getting the complete data basically. this complete object we are getting in the e okay and that message we are binding on on the tag id second you can see where is the second tag id here it is so on this parameters the items will be replaced okay and for that we are using replace with and we are replacing the complete tr the table row this complete row i am talking about this complete row so i am replacing this complete row right and i am getting the data inside the data root id company and in the same oh, and now let me run this so you can see okay so right here we can replace this so okay right here let me also replace this so you can see right now we are having this and let me bring the console here and wait a minute right here you can see the console okay and in the console it is completely empty right now and let me show you this also the element here you can see the resources okay not just on this one so let me go to the console okay so as you can see this Two ID two is having the second. Let me show you this. So here you can see this complete TR tag is having two with tag ID second. Okay. So this is the complete row. This is the row basically which will be replaced when I will click on this one. This button. So let me now click on this button. I just clicked here and now you can see this complete row is replaced and we are also logged this two thing you can see and 
because that we have written the code for that to log the complete data which we are receiving from the from the center tab. So you can see here we got the complete object, right? And we got the message. Okay. So if, if you want like this, replace this thing, then you can also replace this just ready to put here the third. Okay. And this third is right here, you can see. This is the third and this tab will be replaced. Okay, but I want it to use the ID three and also this will be third and let me just add it something okay so we can identify the data okay no I'm not going to replace okay so now I am not going to refresh this page for now because if we will refresh then the old data will again propagate here. Okay, so now let me again sorry, let me click on here first. So refresh on this page and now I click. So I clicked on here and you can see we got the data basically with the name third ID3 company name and we got basically all the data, right? but we didn't like so it can see, we cannot see the data here okay so because of that and the main thing for that is on this page i had not refreshed this page and because of that actually what this page is expecting right? this page is expecting the old data because i have not refreshed this page and that page is like expecting the old data and that old data now we are not sending okay so once i will refresh this page right now this page is now uh, uh, like for the initial value because it is being it is coming from this static field static tags okay and now when i will click on this okay button okay then the data will be refreshed okay because now we are we the both page I had been refreshed and the sending tag ID third is found in the JavaScript file of this page. So basically these two things is the main the main thing you can you can you can, you can say that the main thing is like we need to broadcast the data among the tabs in a browser and we need to create one method to receive the data okay so you can you can use this same and don't don't forget to put the same name here because if we change the name then the data will not be matched okay then we cannot update we cannot update it and now inside this function we are we are, we, we are like it's on message coming we are propagating this function and calling this function with this data b okay if i passing it as a parameter and now we are replacing the complete row table row okay so i think you got the idea okay so that's all guys in this video thank you for watching